Hey guys! So this video is going to be a video of what I bring on vacation in terms of beauty, uh, skincare, and anything that I have in my toiletry bag. So I have two different bags. Well, maybe I should preface and say that I'm obviously in our hotel's um, bathroom. That's why there's an echo going on. I'm sorry if that's really annoying, but um, the lighting's really good, and I think the two basins back here and a nice little glass uh, shower is just pretty fierce. I have two bags here, some that contain, one that contains um, liquid items and the other just, just miscellaneous stuff. Um, and the purpose of doing this is because one, I haven't done this in two years since my last Asian vacation video, but um, it's also really interesting to see what products have changed and hasn't changed and to see what people um, bring with them on vacation. So I'm going to start with the plastic quart size bag and I'm just going to kind of nonchalantly just take things out. Um, I have the, it's not gonna be in any order. <laughs> First item that I have to show is the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. This is perfect for when you are going out at night or want your makeup to stay you know, on your face. Um, I'm in the Philippines right now and it's really humid, so this is gonna be perfect for when you know, I choose to go out and I have some concealer or whatnot on, um, so it'll last throughout the night. I have the uh, Renew Bao Shin Lam. Um, Contact solution. This is the travel size, really great for traveling with. I have the Kiehl's Facial Fuel. It's an SP, uh, SPF 15 sunscreen and moisturizer. I've been using this for probably like more than two years and I love it. Actually, I'm kind of beefing right now because this is kind of their older formula, but they I, I feel like they recently changed their um, formula and it's not, it doesn't smell the same. It, it probably works has like a lot of the similar items, but the scent is somewhat different. It's not as minty. Um, I also have the Sensodyne Pro Namel toothpaste. Um, I recently went to the dentist and they recommended this toothpaste because it's supposed to be really great for strengthening the enamel in your teeth. Um, not that the Crest and the Colgate versions don't, but this, is, this just does a way better job, they said, so I have a travel size version. Um, I have, I brought my glasses with me. I recently just got some uh, black frame product glasses. Um, and when I got them, they also gave me, they as in the eye care company, uh, gave me a spray to clean my lens on my glasses. I have the $1 e.l.f. Uh, eye, it's like a duo, one side is the eyebrow gel and the other side is the clear mascara. Really good bang for your buck. I don't mind paying a dollar every two months to get it. Um, I have the Clarence Multi Active Serum uh, that goes on your face. I don't know why I just slapped myself. But um, I use this every night, um, sometimes in the morning, but it's supposed to, it smells really good and I, it hasn't broken me out. Um, I have the e.l.f. HD Lifting Under Eye Concealer. I got this when I was in New York um, in, back in September. Um, really good stuff. It kind of reminds me of the Dior under eye concealer, except this is probably like $3 versus like $30. Um, I have the knockoff Travelo. Uh, it has Bulgari Soir, which is the kind of the dark gray men's fragrance. It's a really nice uh, nighttime scent, very kind of woodsy, but a little bit sweet. And then also I have the Bulgari Aqua Pour Homme. Uh, for men, and this is the, the marine version. This one um, in juxtaposition with the one in the knockoff Travelo, the, uh, this one actually smells pretty fresh, uh, like like very fresh and very aquatic, and it, it's perfect for I, I believe like nighttime and daytime, so it's um, you know, pretty versatile. And that's why I bought it. I also have the Elf Regular Stick Concealer in the color uh, tan. Looks like that. I think that this also does a good job of concealing your blemishes or any uh, dark spots or acne scarring that you have. It's also comparable to any of the other brands out there that charges like 30 bucks for a stick concealer. Um, I also have the Shiseido Urban Environment Oil Free UV Defenser. So this is really good for when you're in a place um, that has a lot of sun. Um, right now, it's pretty sunny in Manila. That's why I'm like in the bathroom because the sunlight is just pretty good in here. Um, there's an SPF of 42 and it's water resistant. Um, and I believe it's PA++. Shake it. It's more of a 
chemical concealer rather than a cream. I have the Clarins Stop Imperfections Blemish Control um, Roller Ball. You just put it on your blemishes. Uh, the lady at the Nordstrom counter for Clarins told me that you can put this before or after your moisturizer. Anyway, it's fine. And then lastly in this bag, I have the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream. Um, I use this night and day. It's more of like a multi-purpose kind of like you know, in the morning it's supposed to be a really good base for your under eye concealer and then at night it's supposed to prep for um, keeping the eye, uh, the under eye pretty moisturized so you can uh, keep the elasticity in your, on your skin. And then on to the next bag, this is my toilet tube uh, bag that has all the other stuff. I have the Axe Dry Phoenix Scented uh, Deodorant, looks like that. Whenever I smell this, it reminds me of vacation because the, gro uh, the uh, drugstore that I go to um, only has a limited selection of deodorant that trial travel size. Um, and this one is the one that I am attracted to the most, so I always get it. I have uh, the Sephora uh, concealer brush. Really great to you know buff in the under eye concealer or just like buff in uh, the concealer on any of the uh, acne scarring that you have. Um, I have a toothbrush holder with a toothpaste, toothpaste with a toothbrush inside. Um, this one is by the brand Gum. My uh, my uh, dentist gave it to me, but the bristles are really soft and you know work well with my teeth. I have uh, contact holders, and this is really sad. So I only have one piece of the Up and Up uh, cleansing wipes. I should have brought more and I didn't even think about bringing and um, buying a new pack before, but I'm gonna save this for when I really need it throughout the trip. Um, I also have the Makeup Forever Duo Matte Powder. Um, this is the older formula. I, in, um, I was told that the um, Duo Matte actually came out with newer, a new formula. I can't speak to that new formula, but this is um, the, the previous one and I still really like it. I have a powder brush and stippling brush. You know, I'm, I have all these makeups, but I really don't think I'm gonna use it that often, probably once, twice, or three times on the trip because it's so freaking hot and humid here that I just don't want <laughs> streaks of tan and beige just falling from the top of my forehead. Um, but just in case. Um, and since we're there, I'll talk about this brush. This is the Bare Minerals Flat Top uh, Brush. It's very dense and it's really good for um, using, you know, uh, BB cream or tinted moisturizer to have that buffed in look. Um, this should be in the other bag, but this is the Bobbi Brown Tinted Moisturizer in SPF 15 in the color Light to Medium Tint. Um, this is a little bit lighter for my, or darker for my skin tone, but I figured since I'm going to be here in the Philippines, I'm probably going to get a little bit tan, so got this. Um, I have the Kids Up and Up brand SPF 50 uh, aerosol sunscreen. So I tend to, I really like using kids items because they're really sensitive um, on the skin because you know kids have very sensitive skin. So I got the, the kids version from Target. Um, so this is not the same eye cream from earlier. It's the same container because I repurposed it, but I found that the size of this is perfect for putting other things in. This is the uh, American Crew Palmade. I just kind of scooped from my bigger container into the smaller one, so... Um, which it's also been featured in a previous favorites video, but I really like this palmade because it, it provides really good hold and it doesn't get too, um, the hair doesn't get too shiny. Um, I have the Shu Uemura Lash Curler that everybody seems to love. Um, I have this, uh, it's like a, it's like a uh, lip balm, but in a little, you know, not in a stick form. It's It smells like powder and coconuts, but um, it's from Lush and I don't remember the name of it, but I remember it's from Lush. Um, I have tweezers for those stray hairs on the middle of your forehead that you just need to tweeze away. Um, made sure to bring those because I hate when I have that one or two extra hair. And then lastly, an electric shaver. Um, it also has kind of like the uh, little area where you can kind of shape the, your sideburns and whatnot, but 
The last time I went to Asia, I didn't bring this and I looked like a caveman. And it happened during November and everyone's like, oh, you're doing no shave November? And I'm like, no. No, not by not by choice. But um, this is perfect um, for travel. And um, the weird thing is, I I, I had very sparse hair, um, facial hair on my cheeks area, my cheek area. But on my chin, it just grows, so it just looks like I have a chin strap. But yeah, that's the end of whatever is in this bag. I hope you enjoyed this video and kind of um, had ideas. If you yourself are going on vacation soon, maybe you forgot to bring and concealer brush or facial sunscreen. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions on any of the items that I talked about, leave it in the comment box below. Thank you, as usual, for watching my videos. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and like if you like this video. I will talk to you guys later in my next video, and hope you're enjoying, or have enjoyed, I don't know when I'm gonna post this, but I hope you have enjoyed or are enjoying my Asian vacation videos. Um, it's really interesting and fun to kind of go around to, to another part of the world just to kind of vlog and, and you know record what I'm doing with family and friends and just experiencing life. So yeah, I will talk to you guys later in my next video. Bye.